Hey, Genki Call here, and it is time for the Warren's Faction Assault. And the most exciting news that I have for you for the day is that one of my favorite weapons is in the shop for the Faction Assault. The Garland Staff is fantastic. I absolutely love it. It is available in the, um, in the Soul Forge, but for today only but I do recommend getting it with gems if possible because it's a much better value those diamonds are so hard to come across so I have only purchased two tiers in the shop my faction is at or my horde is at level 100 and Pan's Vale uh, let's see Pan's Vale is at level 14 so I do have those two extra 25% faction horde stats and that will make a difference on my team as well but here's what I've got for you I have so many teams lots of teams but the thing is that I you can use all five of the teams I posted for the Tower of Doom yesterday so this is one of those teams it's my absolute favorite um, just overall team um, I'm not going to show those five teams. I'm going to show you what they are, but I'm not going to play with them. I've come up with some brand new teams never before used before, including stuff for people who haven't made it to the underworld yet. Because you can do faction assaults even if you're not in the underworld yet. Uh, so, let me see. The first team... Alright, so we've got Mountain Crusher, King Gob Truffle, Queen Beatrix, and Leprechaun. You can mix and match this. You can add in Queen Luna. You can have two King Gob Truffles, two Queen Beatrix, but the Mountain Crusher and the Leprechaun are basically the driving force here, and you can use uh, any of the classes with Leaf Storm, the Nature's Aura, so that is Shaman and Archer and Orb Weaver and Warden. I'm using Warden to level it right now. So that is number two. Uh, that was shown in yesterday's video. Oopsie, I've got to get this copied right. I know you can't see what I'm doing here. All right, next one is Mountain Crusher with Venoxia, Queen Beatrix, and Leprechaun. Same thing with Nor Nature's Aura. Um, this is a really nice, fun team to use as well. Very fast. These are quick delve teams, and the whole thing about quick delving is that you're going to want to do lots of scatter damage to get things done as quickly as possible. So you blow off the Leprechaun, you get that Nature's Aura, green stuff falling from the sky, everything gets filled up and you just blow them away. Next, let's see what we have. Oh yes, I like this team. Here we go. So the next one is once again with Mountain Crusher. We've got Queen Beatrix with the Scourge of Honor and Leprechaun. So the Scourge of Honor is going to do true damage to all enemies, but he does more than Queen Beatrix does at first. So as long as you can one shot with. Uh, Scourge of Honor, I would recommend putting him before Queen Beatrix, and then once he is no longer able to one-shot the other team, then scoot him on down and then do it that way and use him as a finisher. You can take this pretty far into a delve just because of Queen Beatrix looping, and then you finish him off with Scourge of Honor if you need to. So, next, I already showed you the Arachnian Weaver team. The next one is a Rowan team. And do, 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 do. manage paste. There we go. So we've got the Shield of Urskaya on the early levels. You don't even need the sh Shield of Urskaya because you're not going to need to boost Rowan's armor um, in order to have her hit hard. Just blow off the Leprechaun and cast with Rowan, and they're all going to die. Um, when you need to start buffing her, that's what the Setite Warrior is for. Um, when you get really high, you can cast the Shield of Urskaya on Rowan, and then cast the Setite Warrior if you need to, or just cast with Rowan, and then cast this guy on Rowan for him to do a bunch of scatter armor based on her armor. It's very nice. It works quite well. Um, to make things even faster on early levels, you can use two Leprechauns, or you can use um, 
you can use the thrall in here even. You can move the leprechaun up here and then put th or no, I just used two leprechauns because they're empowered, so that would make it nice and fast. Okay, so let me get to the brand new teams. I have never used these guys. Um, these are ones that I put together just for something different. This first team was put together specifically in mind for people who haven't made it to the underworld yet. They don't, or they haven't been able to get Queen Beatrix. They haven't been able to get Gob Truffle. So let me show you. These are teams you normally wouldn't use for everyday things. You might use them for um, events, but not in general use. And the reason that I'm using them is because look at this damage. It's boosted not only by my level 100 horde, but also by um, those extra faction stats. Um, and, you know, they do a lot of damage. The problem with this team is if the other team, well, actually the problem with most of my quick delve teams is that there's usually not a member on the team that can do direct damage, which means if they get tidal effects and start submerging, you're going to have a little difficulty. But in general, super fast team. I was going to actually use this team um, because I've never used it before, so I don't know how well it works. Um, but that is going to be the case for all of these new teams I'm using. Let's see, blow things off here. I don't have a storm running, but this should be nice and fast. Kaboom! Woohoo! Nice and fast. <sighs> did I show you what these guys do? I'm not sure I did. Let's see. So Frost Feather deals damage to all enemies. Um, he will curse the other team if there's an ice storm that won't be, and so we're not worried about that. It's just the fact that it does all this damage to the other um, enemies. And its power, the this number, this purple number is going to go up every time somebody on your team casts a spell. And if he dies, he's going to freeze all the enemies, which is okay. That's pretty nice. Atlanta does damage to all enemies. Um, she can uh, do true damage with skull damage but she'd have to be at the front of the team and she's going to get some extra yellow mana from um from mana matches so instead of m matching three and getting three mana you'll get four so that's cool and you could move her up here where frost feather is and then put luna in here that would work really well because that extra yellow for luna anyway luna's on one of these teams i've got here Oh, that was fast. I didn't even touch him. Just my explosion took him out. I feel like I should do a couple of delves with each of these teams just to show you the kind of, you know, with a little harder enemies, but um, it's pretty late here, and um, I do have a second video to do for the higher level delves, so I am going to hold off on that. And just do this. So I'll do one for each of these new teams that I've got. Don't forget to check out the um, the video I made yesterday. There's a link in the description box below to all of those teams. So you can see them in action if you wish. And the team codes are also there. So you don't have to click on that link if you just like the looks of the team. You can just paste it in and use it. All right, and have you noticed no more random lycanthropy gems? Oh, it's been so nice. I'm so happy to have the random ones gone. They've just sucked. I'm happy to have them gone. Of course, these teams are going to be effective for a little while, these ones that I'm showing you, but of course ones that do true damage are going to be even faster. So you've got your Vinoxia and you've got Queen Beatrix and um, I'll show you when we get um, when we finish this delve, I'll show you how to look for your true damage troops that you can use in the delve. So I forgot to show you the Garland Staff. I need to do that too. I love the Garland staff. It's so fun. 
and effective. I was thinking that the weapon would be Trickster's shot. I, I didn't even occur to me it could be the Garland Staff. So how do you get the Trickster's shot? That is a really good weapon. But the Trickster is here in this delve, so I'm a little confused about that, but uh, there's got to be a way to get it. Obviously, there's a way to get it. Just kind of thinking out loud here. Boom. Lots of purple. Let's blow things up. Uh. Hey, I would have liked to have that. Thank you. Alright, two more battles and then I will show you the next team I have for you. But I'm on also going to show you how to search for the true damage troops that you have that may be available here. And then also I uh, was going to show you the Garland Staff and the upgrades. Tired. Nice. Okay, let's grab our rewards here. Cool. Next team. Let me paste it in here and then I'll show you those things. Manage paste. There we go. Before I talk about this team, let me show you, go in here, go to spell effect. You need to do this inside the warrens or make sure that you're locked to green and yellow when you search. And then scroll down here and click on true damage. So all of these do true damage and uh, Merilith is actually a really good mana generator, so you could actually stick her in here instead of the Deep Huntsman. And uh, let's see what her mana is, 12, and this one's 13. So you could actually throw Merilith in there. That would be a good fit in here. And then, and then, and then, Queen Beatrix, of course. Shadow Dragon does true damage. Now watch what's, what's going to happen when I put the shadow dragon in here. Hold on. Shadow dragon. We'll put him there. And his, uh, his attack just went up to 53 instead of instead of 32. So it makes a big difference. The um, And that's why you want to do this either from the underworld trying to to uh, put in a team in the Warrens there or do it within the Faction Assault when you're trying to build a team because these values are all going to be different. So we've got Life and Death here. If you don't have it, you can use um, you can use the Mountain Crusher. You can always use the Mountain Crusher in place of Life and Death for my teams. The Deep Huntsman is going to help with mana accumulation, and he's also going to curse and web the first enemy, which is fine with me. If he happens to die, well, hopefully it won't get to that point, but if he does, you'll get a Tomb Spider, which is quite deadly. The Arachnian Weaver, um, this is um, something that I tend to cast when... Um, I tend to cast this when the bottom two troops have this number or less on life left so that it will explode the board and get me some extra mana. And then this is fantastic. The web spinner is a wonderful, wonderful summons. It's the best in the game currently and it does triple damage to enemies as long as they're not immune to being... Uh, webbed, they'll do triple skull damage. So that's really awesome. King Avalorn is going to do damage to all enemies. He doesn't do true damage like the Arachnian Weaver, but not everybody has Queen Beatrix, and I was trying to come up with an alternative to Queen Beatrix for this team. 
and he will do damage to all enemies. It's going to be boosted by the Arachnian Weaver and the hero because I am using a class that makes the hero a an elf, and all elf allies start with 50% mana. So in, you, instead of Shaman, you can also use Archer or Orb Weaver. All three of those will make you an elf. So let's try this out. I haven't tried this. I actually would rather have the Deep Huntsman down here, but I put him here because of a mana block. So let's give this a, whoopsies. Let's give this a try, see how it works. Like I said, I haven't tested any of these teams. Now at some point, the Lapina, uh, sorry, the Trickster is going to start switching your first and last enemy. And basically in this first room here, the trick is to let him cast once and then let the other one cast before you kill them or kill one and then let it uh, attack you again. So now I'm going to wait and I'm going to let it accumulate some mana and cast again so that I can get my team back in the order I want to have it in. Either that or if you think that you can kill one quickly enough, put your hero, if you want your hero first, down here, and King Avalorn up here, and wait for him to switch them before you kill him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, you get to see <laughs> how this team works in the wrong order. I got distracted by myself talking. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, well. That's okay. This team should be still pretty effective, just the way it's set up. We still have somebody that can explode things in the front and um, I'm mana blocked down here, but the nice thing is life and death, self and chance. And once again, I forgot to show you the upgrades on the Garland staff. I promise I will do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Okay. Yeah, we're low enough ne level that it doesn't matter that I screwed up. And plus, since we have enchant to start with, and life and death enchants itself, then I'm not worried about mana for it down here. But this is here just to get us some extra mana. It will fill up the team if they run out of steam. So we'll do like this. And get some mana. So I can finish off with King Avalorn, or I can go ahead and make an explosion. Pow! Because I like to have the explosions. They make me laugh. I'm easily amused. Let me see, Cedric. Cedric could change the order back, actually. Well, it wouldn't be exactly the order I want it to be in, but he could change the order for me if I chose to do it that way. Wow, look at all that yellow. Jeez Louise, we'll do that. We'll do that just because I want all of the match fours. <laughs> and we'll do this. Finish them off. Let's see, those were eight. These are, this one is four. Okay, I did not see this one yet. I'll go ahead and do this and blow up the board to get some mana and then cast here. Three more battles. that. I'll go ahead and cast. Everything's going to be full filled up on the next turn anyway. But in theory, this team looks like it'll work pretty well in here. Um, for higher levels, probably not so much, but um, for the lower levels, for quick delving, it looks like it's going to be pretty effective. And we'll do that. And this. If you don't have the Arachnean Weaver, try throwing Luna in here. She uses yellow and green and 
Um, she's a really fun troop. You can get her from this faction, from the Warrens. And she's a lot of fun to use. I really enjoy her. And I'll be showing her to you in just a bit. Maybe on the next team, I can't remember. Nope, not on the next team, the one after that. <sighs> oh, definitely want that. We'll do this. Blow things up to get some mana. And I'm just gonna take him out with the Weaver. Okay, next team. Don't know how it's gonna work at all. I'm not sure it's going to be as fast as my usual teams, but manage paste. Again, we have King Avalorn on the team and he is mana blocked by the Cobaltine Wand. Hmm. Okay. All enemies. We could put Atlanta on here instead, but I'm not liking the mana block here. Still, the Cobaltine Wand is going to explode red gems, and, and, I also know that not everybody is going to have the Cobaltine Wand. This is something that I got during an event, I'm pretty sure. And so if you don't have it, put the Mountain Crusher in here. So I'll leave this as is, put the Mountain Crusher in here instead, and keep King Avalorn on the team. But, I don't even know if this is going to work, but the synergy between Yao Guai and the Cobaltine Wand is really great. So he's, if, he, if I had Yao Guai ready to go right now and I cast it, all of this purple would turn to red, and that would feed the Cobaltine Wand so, because it explodes red gems. And then it gives a random status effect to Yao Guai. Just a lot of fun. So and this is an empowered um, troop that converts gems to red. So blue to red, which I don't need at all right now. And I'm going to go ahead and cast with this. And this. You have to think a little bit more with this team, which I don't like, but um, it's something different. It's something I've never shown you before, and that's what I was looking for, is just to come up with something different. And you may be able to come up with a much better team. Maybe you can find something else from Shen Tang to take advantage of that Cobaltine Wand so that it can get a positive status effect just from blowing it off. Um, but we'll see. So this is blue to red. I'm going to go ahead and cast that. Got Yao Guai ready to go already. And we'll cast. Blow this off. Or the Mountain Crusher would work just as well, except it wouldn't give a random positive status effect to Yao Guai. But Mountain Crusher is going to work just fine in here. thing with my um, blue to red my quick delf teams is that I want to be able to get in there I don't want to have to think I just want to be able to cast finish and then move up as quickly as I can and it's important to be able to do that when um, when you're progressing in the game and you really want to get through these fast it's a faction assault day you have a limited amount of time to get things done um, before reset. So um, it's good to be able to do the early levels quickly so that you can hurry up and get to those higher levels and get as high as you can in the delve, especially if you're searching or wanting to do pure faction before the faction assault ends. I know what I'm trying to say. I'm just not sure it's coming across the way I want it to come across. <sighs> one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to be able to sleep at night again. And that will be fantastic because then I won't be so tired all the time. I don't have a match for it with Yao Guai, but I am not worried about that. 
uh, because I can blow up all these red gems in a minute. Actually, look at this. I've got alignment right there. So that worked nicely. Still, the um, King Avalorn gives Yao Guai a 50% mana start. That's why I had him on the team. That's what I was thinking when I put it together, but I'm not sure that the synergy on this team is as good as it could be. I don't think it is as good as it could be, but you know, it's, it's a springboard. It's an idea for you um, that you can play with, blue to red, and we'll just do this. Um, so, you know, hopefully it's helpful to, to you all. And need some green or some red. Stop taking my red. Humph. Take that. Blow things up. Go ahead and cast with that. And finish off with Yakwai. What have we got here? Uh, 250, 300. I'm looking at these values here. If you uh, don't know what order to do the rooms in, I will post a link in the description box below to how to maximize your profits in a delve so that you can check that out and understand that a little better if you don't already know. I just have to remember to put it there. If I forget, please let me know <laughs> and I will fix it. So I've got match five on that. Uh, I'm gonna take that because I want to. I'll do this. Do that. Blow up all this beautiful red here, but no reason to because I had the skulls ready. And I still haven't shown you the garland staff. What a space cadet. Jeez. I could have skull baited him. Oh well, that's all right. We'll just do this and blow this off, and we'll just finish with. Well, not quite finish. We'll almost finish with Shadow Dragon there. There. I said Shadow Dragon. I meant <laughs> King Avalorn. Okay, ah. two more battles. Then we'll move on to the next team, which does not have any troop from the underworld on it. Uh, oh, no, it does. It has Luna on it. Never mind. Let's see. Oh, blue to red. That works. Nice. Okay. go ahead and start with King Avalorn and weaken all of these troops and then we'll go ahead and cast here and get some more mana. Yao Guai is now enraged which does not help because he's not in the front but I will take that thank you and do that. There are so many variations and so hey level 10 so many different teams you can put together for quick delving there are loads more that i'm not even adding here because i've i've shared so many delving teams lately a lot of them are going to work here because a lot of troops have green a lot of troops have yellow so there are others that would work here as well oh yeah i need to change this and i remembered the garland staff Ha ha ha! Weapons! Garland staff, here it is. So we've got scatter damage, 
and one to two status effects to all allies, which is very fun. And then on the upgrades, we have attack, life, magic, attack, magic, entangle the first enemy, which is super helpful if you are fighting, um, fighting somebody that's a skull spammer or if you're skull spamming yourself. Enchant myself, which is wonderful. I love weapons that enchant themselves. Destroy three random green gems and deal five scattered damage. So those are your upgrades for the Garland staff. I highly recommend getting this, whether it's through the Soul Forge or via this delve. I recommend the delve because it's cheaper to get with gems. But there we go. So this team, once again, you can put the Mountain Crusher here. Hopefully you were able to craft the Twin Claws when it was in the Soul Forge recently. But if you didn't, use Mountain Crusher. So, explode green gems, grant, grant a random status effect to all beast allies, and summon a beast troop. Hopefully you won't need the summons. Uh, I am using Warden to make th my hero a beast, so that it, it will get one of those random status effects. And Willow is also a beast. Willow is going to do damage to all enemies, and help you get a little bit of mana as well. And then, you've got this... Um, this little bonus for plus four, four plus matches. And then Luna, love Luna. Miss Luna is lots of fun to use. And the thing that's fun for her, it's another one that grants one to two status effects to all allies, which is great. And then explode a gem, a random gem when matching yellow. So she's a lot of fun to use. She'll help you get some extra mana from that. And then Chris. Christanax, Christ whatever, however you pronounce her name. I have never actually used her, ever. But she's going to deal damage to all of the enemies, that, which makes it super fast, just like all of these others. She's going to do a summons if you need her to. Um, the gems that she removes from the board um, are not going to do anything. It's not like you matched them. It's not like you exploded them. However, it will boost your damage a little bit. So if you match, or if you remove 10 gems, it's going to give you an extra five, an extra five damage because it's two to one. So however many you remove, if it's 16, you'll get plus eight damage, that kind of thing. And you get enchant, enchant just by matching purple gems, which is very helpful. And you could put her boop up here which is where I originally had her or even right in front which is also great with that 50% skull reduction what I was thinking though is that if Willow or if you don't have the twin claws and you have to use the mountain crusher um, then you're going to want to not mana block Willow so that's why I've used this alignment play with it and make it your own however works for you so let's go ahead and do this battle this is the last of the quick delving teams I have for you for this video um, and then I've got the video I'll be do showing you I'll be uploading hopefully tonight to show you um, to show you da, 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 where's my mind higher level delving teams now of course triple finesse is going to be one of those teams um, because Triple Finesse is amazing. But in case you think I forgot, I didn't. I'm going to be putting that out here. Okie dokie, what have we got next? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. 250, 300. Do this one. Okay, so now I, I need to remember, I need to remember to put the link to the video that shows you room order in the description box below. That, please do let me know if I forget that. So I am going to go ahead and leave the skulls. Absolutely gonna skull bait them because they're entangled. So let's use a different troop this time. We'll go with, um, We'll go with Willow, and th she's going to give me an extra three damage for every brown gem I destroy. So let's see. And it's a row, so the best bet is going to be this top one, because I've got four there. So let's go ahead and try this, see how it goes. 
Nice. That was great. I love that. Remove gems. Uh, red. We're not using red. Not that it matters because it was going to end the round anyway, but it looks like... It looks like this team is going to be pretty nice. Now, if you don't have Luna, you get her here from the Warrens um, with your Chaos Shards. And if you don't have Luna, then you can replace her with one of the other troops that I showed you. Any of the other troops that I showed you. Just watch for, or in this video, for the scatter damage. You could put Atlanta here. Atlanta would be great, I think. I think. I know she, oh, no, she uses the same color as the twin claws, but just keep in mind, you can mix and match these things however you want to get it to where it's working for you. Everybody has a different play style, and, you know, I have my certain way that I like to do things, um, but my, that doesn't make it the right way to do things. It's simply the way I like to do it. So we're going to do this, and we'll grab some more of that. I could have waited for these guys to get filled up here. We'll just do that. So we've got a mana block on Luna, which I had not been paying attention to. I would recommend moving Luna up one spot so that she isn't mana blocked by the Willow here. As I wasn't paying attention, and as I said, I have not tested any, had not tested any of these teams. So I need to adjust the team code. Um, to put Luna in front, I think. Now, I'm going to leave it to you and hope that you actually watched the video and didn't just grab the codes because that is that mana block is an issue. Although, if you've bought at least one tier, um, it won't be as much of an issue. But then again, if you're using the Mountain Crusher, you won't have a mana block, so you won't have to worry about it. So, oopsie. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. I'm going to grab some yellow real quickly here. Let's see, brown gems right here. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, let's go ahead and do Luna and finish this off. Thousand. I already looked at that. Do this one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Might as well. Not in a big hurry here. So I'm going to do this. We've got three brown here. I've never actually used Willow or Christanix. Chris, Christanix, however you pronounce that name. I've never used either one of them before. So this is interesting for me, and it's I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's pretty fun. Okay, what's next? You? Yes, you. So there are lots of things to watch when you're choosing which room to do next. There are a lot of things to look for besides what you see me looking at. My, what you see me looking at is just how much gold is in each room. And there's more to it than that, depending on what you're trying to accomplish in the game and in your delves. So keep that in mind. Check out that video if you haven't already seen it or if you have any questions about it because uh, hopefully it will be very helpful. Delving is really confusing and trying to figure out <laughs> all of this stuff on your own is difficult. If you don't have somebody that is helping you with your guild or in global, then that's why I make these videos is so that you can have that help that I was kind of lacking. I wasn't entirely lacking on that um, because I did have some help from my guild, but it was still confusing. So hopefully having me talk to you and walk you through these things is going to, I'm going to take that, is going to make things a little easier for you. Oh. Aww. They barriered. That's okay. We'll do this. 
and Christanex will be Christ Christanex is going to be ready here now. We will finish off with her. I'm just going to take a random gem. Ah, look at that. Good thing I still have some steam behind me. You could, um, <coughs> pardon me, you could remove any one of these threes and put the Leprechaun in instead to get fast mana. But again, if you're using the Twin Claws, which has purple, and then you'll have all this green in the way, you'll be mana blocked. But you will have that fast mana accumulation. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Leprechaun is absolutely one of the most versatile troops in the game. You can use him on any team and be successful because that quick mana accumulation, that is something that I, I appreciate a lot. The Thrall is great, but he, um, you know, I haven't used him a whole lot. He's really great on my Zul'goth team, but in general. Okie dokie. They're gonna switch up my order and I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and cast with the Willow. Yay! Two match fours. Ooh, I could take the green and then the skull. Oh, she, she dodged. How dare she? Um, let's see. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the extra mana. If, if this troop actually gave you the mana that you removed from the board, she would be, everybody would be using her because that would be so useful. Not only are you doing damage boosted by two, um, for every gem that you remove, but if it was also accumulating that mana for your troops, that would be so cool. That would be really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cast with this again. I'm actually really enjoying Willow. Willow is fun. Level nine chest, let's get our rewards. And some chaos shards and some souls, always nice. I just love all of the great um, rewards that you get from delving. So that is going to bring us to the end of this video. Almost, almost, hope you're still here. I'm going to show you the pure faction team that I, I'm not going to use it right now because I wanna be higher level before I use it. I have used this team. I have used this team at level um, 260 with no potions and was able to complete it with my level 100 horde. So um, basically Luna is Luna is Luna. Luna does lots of damage. She's going to have three exploding gems when you match yellow because there are three Lunas here. Then the bunny corn charms an enemy it creates seven yellow gems even if it had zero magic it's still going to do this spell it starts battles with 75 percent mana and the nice thing is if the trickster gets a hold of you and switches these two and switches 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 it doesn't matter because it's just the same troop the only thing it's going to do is affect the order in which you get your mana so that is the pure faction team to be used if i manage to get higher than level 260 then i will show you the team in um, in action that's not going to be anytime soon because it is early in the morning where I am and I still have another video to do for you so um, I will try getting higher level when I wake up later so now it's the end of the video I hope that you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye bye